Today, we're gonna go over things to check after your initial setup. We're gonna learn how to calibrate your machine by making sure that everything is square and level. We're gonna learn how to check belt tension and make sure that everything is right and if it isn't, how to fix it. We're gonna talk about creating basic shapes and how you can use those shapes to check your calibration. And stay tuned to the end where I show you how to solve one of the most frequent newbie issues. Let's do this. I may have reached out to some laser owners and asked them basically what questions do you wish you knew the answer to when you first got started laser engraving? And man, did I get a lot of answers or questions or well, you get me, right? What's up guys, I'm Nick, and this is Build Dad Build. And today, today's video is gonna be one of probably two or three basic laser unit videos. So I had to get my old D1 Pro out of storage. I don't use any open frame lasers anymore, uh, just because I have the enclosed diodes now. But there's nothing wrong with this machine if you have it. It's just moving forward. You're gonna see probably more of these that are gonna have some sort of cover on it. However, I am using this one because it is open and you can see some of the parts better. So I think it's gonna be a good example for that. Let's uh, dust off a little chestnut and get after it, shall we? Two things that probably will not come with your laser that I suggest you invest in. The first, is a square, like a speed square, like so. I will link these in the description down below. You don't have to get this one, but just something that you can get a 90 degree angle on. The second thing is a level, kind of a smaller level. Uh, I even have one that's kind of like this. This one's magnetic and this is aluminum, so it doesn't really do well on here, but I wouldn't go any smaller than this and I probably wouldn't go any bigger than this, just uh, especially with the smaller machines because we're gonna just, we just wanna make sure everything is square before we get to work. Hi Apollo. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Okay, so first thing you wanna do after you have your machine assembled is to make sure everything is square. All laser programs are, are under the assumption that everything is working on a grid. So you need to make sure, especially if you've assembled it yourself, that all the corners are square and then we are sitting in my kitchen, it's probably echoey in here, because the other thing is you wanna make sure that your laser head is square to, let's see if I can explain this. You wanna make sure that your, your laser head is square to your working surface. A lot of you guys have your laser set up in your garage or something, and you're probably gonna run into, most garage floors slope a little bit, so if you're trying to check it for level, it might be off. Now, if you check it in here and it's level, I know my kitchen table is level, I've already checked it. But now, if I check it in here, I don't want this to be too confusing, it just needs to be level to your working surface. So once you've leveled it on something flat like this, you can definitely take it out into your garage. And at that point, if your surface is sitting in an angle and your laser is also sitting at that same angle, it will be level or square to the working surface. Does that make sense? I feel like I should draw you a diagram. If that doesn't make sense, let me know down in the comments down below and I'll try to, I'll try to come up with a better way to explain that. Now the first thing you're gonna do is you wanna just make sure that all your rails are level. Then you wanna make sure that your gantry, this piece is your gantry, the, the arm, this piece that moves back and forth is called the gantry. You wanna make sure that this is level Next, you wanna make sure that all of your corners are square. This is where your square is gonna play in. So you're gonna check this one. You're gonna check this one. And then, I mean, you can for safe measures check the other two, but if the two corners are square, you should be square. Okay, so that all looks good. Next, you wanna make sure that you're square to the gantry. So we're just gonna hold this right here and make sure this guy's square here. And we'll come over here and just for safe measure, we'll make sure this guy's square here. Actually, I'm gonna do it over here. There's a, I've got a cable in the way. 
Those guys are square. Next, we've already checked for level, but now we wanna make sure that it's square to the table. And that's the reason you wanna make sure that whatever base you're on right now, because we don't have a working surface here right now, we don't have a honeycomb or anything sitting in here. You wanna make sure that you are square to whatever you're working on. So we just wanna make sure this is flat, square against there. You can check a couple of different places. If any of those places aren't square, and what I suggest doing is loosening all of the screws that, that, are, that interact with any of those corner pieces and taking your, your square, putting it in there, making sure it's square, tightening this guy a little bit and then going over to the other side and doing the other side and kind of keep doing that until you can come in here and see that it's square. These are all machine parts, so they should fit together well. Uh, sometimes you may over torque a screw or under torque a screw and it may throw you out of whack. You see me? The last couple of things you wanna do in here is you wanna come in and make sure that your laser head is square to the gantry. And then the last thing you wanna check is make sure that your, your laser head or your laser unit is actually square to your working surface. If, if you're having problems with your machine and it's not engraving correctly or it's not lining up right, that's the first thing anybody's gonna check or troubleshoot if you're having issues with your machine, depending on the issue. But like if you're having an alignment issue, you can't figure out why you can't engrave a circle, something like that, that's the first thing you're gonna check. Flip this up so you can see all the belts. We have a belt down here, just, you guys see that? There's a belt in here that drives the laser module back and forth on the gantry. Back down. <laughs> uh, you have a belt right here and a belt on the other side that draw the gantry forward and backwards. Also, if you're a super newbie, um, this motion is the Y axis and this is the X axis. So if you're in software and you tell it to go right on the x-axis, this is gonna to move to the right, left is gonna to move to the left, up is going to move backwards, and down is gonna move forwards. Now your belts. The best way I've had this explained to me is that they should feel kind of like a guitar string if you strum it and they both should be equal. They should both have equal tension. I mean, if you've never strummed a guitar string, I'm not sure exactly how to explain it to you other than like, if you listen, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's got some tension to it, but everything still moves freely. So if your belts are tight, then everything should be good. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna loosen this belt on the left side just to let you guys see what exactly is gonna happen. So when you, right after you get your machine set up, I suggest going into XCS or Lightburn and just cutting some basic shapes or even engraving some basic shapes. All you wanna do is get some familiarity with the software, what you're doing, your machine, and make sure that everything is going well. So this is, Actually, that's still a little tight. Doo -doo. Okay, so this side is way loose. I don't know if you can see this, but that, and then this is just like blah, blah. Now I've drawn a perfect circle and light burn. I'm gonna go ahead and run this. Okay, so now let's take a look. Like this is overly obnoxious, but do you see how out of round that is? First thing that tells me is that your belts are not tight. To tighten this piece, you've got this guy right back here that moves back and forth, and then this is what tightens it. So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna tighten. And while I'm doing that, I'm feeling the belt. And I can tell you right now that this is gonna have to move back some first. So. I'm just gonna move it back to my finger. So can you see this piece? This piece is loose. And if you look back here, when I push this, this piece comes out. So I'm gonna push that out. I'm gonna tighten it a little bit. Well, I'm gonna tighten this a little bit. And then what I wanna do is bring it back over here. And by pushing that piece back, 
I'm gonna tighten the screw right here. I don't want it to be super tight, but I want to be tight enough that I can tighten this back one now. And now I'm feeling my belt as I'm tightening. And it's pulling it back. And now, if you listen, there's a nice strum to it. I might actually tighten this one a little bit. The second place you may have an issue is these two screws that control this arm here. I'm turning this with my hand right now, and as you see, that's not spinning. So what you wanna do is come in here and tighten these as tight as you can by hand. So if your belts feel tight and it's still doing that, this is usually the culprit. Okay, now when I turn that with my hand, it turns. Okay, there is our circle. We're gonna hit start again. And look at that, much better. So that's the reason you wanna cut some shapes. Feel free to run some squares and some rectangles. Sometimes you can tell which side it is. Like if you notice one edge of the rectangle squishing more than the other, but most of the time, people don't really realize that their belts are loose until they start doing something that's like a circle or something like that because sometimes you can be off a little bit in a square and you just you, you can't physically see it. It's off, but you don't see it as much. Circles show up really fast. This is one of the biggest, I don't understand what's going on with my laser, my laser's not working right, examples that I see on Facebook groups where beginners are looking for help. And guys, I'm starting to realize that there are more and more new laser users out there every day. So I wanna to try to hit as many of the basic questions as I can for all you new guys out there. Please consider checking out Patreon and Discord. I am planning, check this out, on building a laser nation. This is gonna conclude the first video in the series. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and the bell button if, if you wanna be notified the next time one of the videos in the series comes out. Also, feel free to ask any of the questions you may have about your laser in the comments down below, and I may address it in a future video. Now, it's time to get funky. Woo!